Hey, George here. Random Wikipedia, bickering, first fruits. Bickering, first fruits. In ancient Israel, the first fruits, bickering, were a type of offering that were akin to, but distinct from, terumachedua. While terumachedua was an agricultural tithe, the first fruits, discussed in the bickering tractate of the Talmud, were a sacrificial gift brought up to the altar, bickering 312 m. The major obligation to bring first fruits, henceforth bickering, to the temple began at the festival of Shavuot and continued until the festival of Sukkot, bickering 6. This tithe was limited to the traditional seven agricultural products, wheat, barley, grapes in the form of wine, figs, pomegranates, olives in the form of oil, and dates, grown in the land of Israel. This tithe, and the associated festival of Shavuot, is legislated by the Torah. Textual critics speculate that these regulations were imposed long after the offerings and festival had developed. By the time of classical antiquity, extensive regulations regarding bickering were recorded in the classical rabbinical literature. According to Jewish law, the corners of the fields, wild areas, leftovers after harvesting, gleanings, and renowned crops were not subjected to, and could not be used as, the tithe of first fruits. They were intended to be left as charity for the poor, and other mendicants. The rules also specify that each type of product had to be individually tithed, even if the numbers were balanced so that there was no difference in amount between this situation and using just some types of first fruit as the tithe, and retaining others in their entirety. This avowal was incorporated into a beautiful and grand festive celebration with a procession of pilgrims marching up to Jerusalem and then the temple with gold, silver or willow baskets to which live doves were tied. Bikurim 3, 5 and 8. The pilgrims were led by flutists to the city of Jerusalem where they were greeted by dignitaries. Bikurim 3. The procession would then resume with the flutist in lead until the temple mount where the Levites would break out in song. Bikurim 4. The doves were given as sacrificial offerings and the declaration would be made before a priest while the basket was still on the pilgrim's shoulder. Bikurim 5 6. After the basket was presented to the priest, it was placed by the altar and the pilgrim would bow and leave. Bikurim 6. The prerequisite for bringing the bikurim is that the person who brings them is the legal property owner of the land on which the fruits were grown, for which reason, sharecroppers and usurping occupants were not permitted to bring them. Ceremonial Ritual the following was the method of selecting fruits for the offering. Upon visiting his field and seeing a fig, or a grape, or a pomegranate that was ripe, the owner would tie a cord of reed grass or similar fiber around the fruit, saying, This shall be among the bikurim. According to Simeon, he had to repeat the express designation after the fruit had been plucked from the tree in the orchard. Mishnah, bikurim 3 1. The fruits were carried in great state to Jerusalem. Stations, Heb, Mamada with deputations representing the people of all the cities in the district, assembled in the chief town of the district, and stayed there overnight in the open squares, without going into the houses. At dawn the officer in charge, Heb, Memon, called out, Arise, let us ascend to Zion, the house of the Lord our God. Those from the neighborhood brought fresh figs and grapes, those from a distance dried figs and raisins. The bull destined for the sacrifice, his horns gilded and his head wreathed with olive leaves, led the procession, which was accompanied with flute playing. When they arrived near the holy city, the pilgrims sent messengers ahead while they decorated the first fruits. The temple officers came out to meet them, and all artisans along the streets rose before them, giving them the salutation of peace, and hailing them as brothers from this or that town. The flute kept sounding until they reached the temple mount. Here even King Agrippa, following the custom, took his basket on his shoulder, and marched in the ranks, until they came to the outer court and hall. There they were welcomed by the Levites, singing Psalm 2. The doves which had been carried along in the baskets were offered for burnt offerings, and what the men had in their hands they gave to the priests. But before this, while still carrying his basket, each man recited Deuteronomy 26 3 et seek, that the words an oppressed Aramon was my father, the basket was deposed from the shoulder, but while the owner was still holding its handles or rims, a priest put his hand under it and swung it, lifted it up, and repeated the words an oppressed Aramon was my father, etc., to the close of the Deuteronomic section. Then placing the basket by the side of the altar, the pilgrim bowed down and left the hall.